Okay, hello year eight. Now, last week we started to draw our figure that we'd made out of things that we found in the kitchen or stationery. Now this one I've made is made out of a wooden spoon and a biscuit cutter and a chopstick and two measuring spoons. Okay, so most of you got this far, so you've got some nice outlines going on. Not very many of you started to add shading. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you, with the use of my mechanical pencil, how to um, add some darker and medium tones to your to your drawing. Okay, and that will make it look more like an object and less like just a collection of lines on a page. Okay, so I'm going to start with my darker tones, and I can see one here. I'm just using a photograph, so you can you can use the object if you want to. You can just use a photo if you want to. So I'm going to start here because I can see there's a bit of shadow on my biscuit cutter. Now this is on the PowerPoint, this photograph is on the PowerPoint and I'll put the picture on too if I can, just so you can see. Now we've talked about this before, but the key to shading is blending and one of the keys to blending your shading is to use a quite a blunt pencil. Now this is mechanical pencil, it doesn't look blunt but actually the edge of it is quite nice and soft. So if you can get hold of something that's got a nice soft edge then that will make it much easier. Now the other key is about pressure. So you can see this dark area here. I'm pressing quite hard with a pencil. Now that might feel like, it's like, yeah, no brainer. But sometimes it can be harder than you think just to get those dark tones in. And this bit here is this is just the shadow on the outside. And that's really important when you're trying to make something look like it's a solid object, it's not to leave it floating in space. So make sure that you add a bit of the shadow. So this is casting a shadow where it was, where it was sitting on the table. And you can see here, this bit, I've pressed quite hard with my pencil right next to the biscuit cutter. And as it comes out, the shadow moves outwards. I'm pressing less and less and less hard. This is just an ordinary HB pencil. It's just, I got these from Wilco's these pencils. So it's nothing fancy, it's just about the pressure. Now please do not be tempted to smudge this with your fingers because I will be able to tell and it, you don't get quite such a good result. Okay I'm coming back in here quite gently so if you're worried about not being able to blend your shading the key is just to start really gently, really really gently. And then you can see, I just go over and over that bit. Just go over and over and over, very, very gently. Just build it up really, really, really carefully. Okay, and you can see I've gone over that bit and I shouldn't have done. I'll come back to that in a minute. So, one of the other things you can do, I'll just put this dark bit in for the frilly bit on the edge. Okay, one of the other things that you can do. So if, I've, as, if you've done this, so I've been, I've got a bit overexcited with the old blending there of my shading. Okay, so I've put some where well, I shouldn't have done. I'll go back in and just make that a tiny bit darker. But I've got this rubber on the end of this quite disgusting pencil I've got here. And I'm just going to go in and just take that out. So if you feel like, or if I say to you, I quite often end up saying this to you, I've just cleaned my rubber on the end of that bit of paper. I've said this to you a lot, to carve out your highlights with a, with a rubber. And this is what I mean. Okay, so you can just take that out. Just take that bit out. And hey presto, it's a bit lighter again. You can see the edge of that biscuit cutter. Okay, I'm just going to carry on. And use this bit of my pencil. To start with a wooden spoon. Okay, and if I squint my eyes at that wooden spoon, I can see that this bit, the wooden spoon here, is slightly darker than my biscuit cutter. And that's important because if you make it all the same, you won't be able to see the edges of your different objects. Okay. So if you don't have a mechanical pencil, you don't have to, it's any, any old pencil will do. But make sure, try and make sure it's blunt. And if you've only got a sharp pencil, just get rid of the edge on the side of your paper. Or on a scrap piece of paper is probably better. And just add in those kind of... It's not unlike when we drew our kitchen utensil. So if you remember, if you can think back to the PowerPoint, 
when we drew that. Okay, so I'm trying to try not to talk for more than five minutes. But I think that is that's more or less it. Obviously, I haven't finished, but you don't want to watch me doing this for five, for half an hour. You want to get on and do your own drawing. Okay, so the key is we've, we're blending, so that means we are pressing lightly to build up our layers, and then we're pressing hard with our pencil where we know that there are dark areas. Okay, and we're drawing in the shadow, we're looking very, very carefully. So we want our eyes to just flick all the time between our drawing and the picture we're drawing from. Okay. So, sort of getting lips. I think I might have gone slightly too far there. Okay, but hopefully you can start to see that it's looking a little bit more like a collection of objects and less like a line drawing. Okay, good luck. Any problems, let me know.